Welcome back to another online drummer.com drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown, and this is a continuation of a series of drum lessons I'm doing every Monday. Right now, we're holding a big fundraiser giveaway on online drummer.com. We're giving away a Pearl Rhythm Traveler drum set, um, a tablet, PC, and some other cool stuff. So check out the link in the, uh, below this video on YouTube to find out more. This lesson is called Fun with Four on the Floor. And if you're not aware, the four on the floor is that classic groove where there's four bass drums, four quarter notes on the bass. For a lot of drummers, it's the first groove that you've ever learned. And you hear it in so much of today's pop music. It's everywhere. Now, sometimes that four on the floor classic groove is just what the song calls for. But other times, you can modify it a little bit. And it's still a four on the floor groove but maybe with an upbeat modification. And that's what this lesson is going to go over. I got six upbeat modifications of the four in the floor. Beat number one takes out the hi-hat on all of the counts. So one, two, three, and four, there'll be no hi-hat. It's all in the ends. It sounds like this. Beat number two progresses the modification by opening the hi-hat on all the ands. So basically, to do that, you'll see that there's an X under the bass note head on number two. That means you're going to close the hi-hat on one, two, three, four. When you do that, your hi-hat by default is going to be open on the ands already. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. So focus less on you know, opening that hi-hat Focus more on keeping with one, two, three, four, right with the bass. I'll play that for you. Now that's really cool, but it's repetitive because the open hi-hat is on every and, which in some cases might be what you want. Uh, number three changes that by only opening the hi-hat for every other uh, hi-hat stroke. Sounds like this. For this beat, since you're not closing the hi-hat on one, two, three, and four like in beat two, it is easier for me if I think about when to open it instead. And, and, and I'm not too concerned about the close, but it is right with the bass drum. And then together. Beat number four is almost the same as beat number three, but it throws in a floor tom on count three of the second measure. It just adds a little uniqueness, a little interest to the, to the groove. That can be difficult to do because you've got to move your right stick over on three to hit the, the floor tom or the low tom, and then you've got to get it back on the and. If you just isolate that area and practice that motion over and over, you'll start to get used to it. So you can start at two, two and three and, two and three and. And again, once you do that over and over, uh, your body starts to get used to it. Number five adds an and uh, on the last and, so like a sixteenth note, one and two and three and four and uh. And uh, I'll play that for you. And number six is a little more complicated. It's not just the snare on two and four. I added some stuff in just to make it fun. Now, just for explanation, I'm not going to play the open hi-hat. I'm going to go over the counting of this. First measure, one and two and a three. One and two and a three. So practice that sequence over and over until you're comfortable with it. You can even just repeat that over and over. One and two and a one and two and a one and two and a one and two and a. Next measure, you've got the floor or the low tom on one. One and. Come back for the and. One and two and. One and two and. And remember, repeat that over and over. Until you're comfortable with it. Three is three E and four and three E and four and three E and four and. Three e and, four and. 
Once you're comfortable with those, start putting them together slowly, and I'll, I'll play that for you and add in the hi-hat one more time. All right, those are the ones I wrote just for you to explore. But obviously, there's a lot more you can do with the four and the floor. You can go around the whole kit. Uh, you can move stuff to the toms. You can have fun with that. Again, make sure you check out OnlineDrummer.com. We've got a lot of other sheet music, uh, drum lessons, a lot of stuff on there. And we've got the big giveaway this month, giving away a Pearl Rhythm Traveler uh, tablet PC and a lot of other great prizes. So keep drumming. <laughs>